I got the It's My Ray Ray and insert name here collab. So let's try it out. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Daniela for those of you who are new here. And before I even continue with this intro, I thought I'd let you guys know that I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. So instead of me posting curly hair videos on Wednesday and fashion videos on Friday, I will now only be posting one video a week. And I will explain to you guys why in another video, so stay tuned for that. So I know last week's video was a curly hair video and there hasn't been a fashion video uploaded as of yet, but I will have one coming up soon. I have posted a few fashion shorts lately and I, and I will be continuing to post a lot more shorts because you guys seem to have been enjoying those. But anywho, back to my intro. So I will be posting curly hair videos every other week here on my channel. So if you're interested in curly hair tips and tricks, then subscribe down below. Now for what you really came here to watch, I got the It's My Ray Ray and insert name here, collab. So I did get the Zoe ponytail in the color Honey. Um, because I have been getting my blonde touched up and I will be going a lot blonder um, So I thought that that would mesh well with my hair as you can see I have like a little bit of blonde um, So I did go for the shade honey and I knew that that would have been my shade because I already have a ponytail from them it's their straight ponytail I'm not re I don't remember what exactly it's called so I'll probably put it right here um but yeah, so so this is what the packaging looks like. It says Ray Ray, insert name here. The box looks very, I don't know, it looks very nice compared to what my other ponytail came in. Um, so my other ponytail just came in like a bag like this. And I got this in 2019. This is the straight haired one. Um, so it just comes in a bag, a silk bag that you can store it in, which I personally don't mind because um, I feel like this is actually a lot easier to store in than this box. So when you actually open it up, so there's two sections. There's one that says open me first. And what this is, is, well, it also comes in a hairnet. This just came out of the hairnet. Um, so what this is, is almost like a tester so you can kind of see if it matches your hair color to see if you like the curl texture um before you go ahead and open the actual the actual ponytail um this just ensures that like if you don't like the tester then you can go ahead and return it because once you open the other side if i'm not mistaken you cannot return it um, so I did open this and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous. I don't know if it was the blonde and just the really big curls, but this threw me off a little bit. So I was a little bit nervous, but I still opened the other side nonetheless. It comes with two of these lighter colored bobby pins, obviously, because I did get the blonde. So this helps conceal the bobby pin a lot better. But, yeah, so pretty much I was a little bit thrown off when I first opened it. Um, it is it is a lot frizzier now because I did wear it. Um, I did wear it a few times and the first time that I did wear it was actually in the rain. So, yeah, it's not doing great. <laughs> but it still looks good when you have it on. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is how long it is. And I'm not going to lie, I was pretty nervous about it only because, as you guys know, I'm more of a 3B and these curls are more of like a maybe 2C, but they're, they're a lot bigger than my curl pattern, so it was a little scary. Um, I described this as being like Shirley Temple curls because um, that's really what it reminds me of so I was a little nervous about it but once I put it on I did quickly change my mind so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I put this on um, like I said it is pretty frizzy because I have worn it already before and because it is synthetic hair it does get pretty tangled pretty fast let's just go ahead and put it on so I can show you guys 
So one thing I don't like about these ponytails is that although it does have Velcro on it, the hair gets just caught up in the Velcro all the time. So it, like, and this happens with my straight haired one too, um, where it just gets like a hot mess near the Velcro because the hair is just all, just all tangled, all stuck to the Velcro. Um, but this is what it looks like. It comes with this little comb right here where you would insert the comb right on your own ponytail or bun. I have my hair in a bun. I'll show you guys how I conceal it. But yeah, so it looks pretty messy right here. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, Alright, so let me just stand like this. I feel like you guys can see it better this way. So what I do is I take the comb and I kind of just stick it right like right above my bun right here just like that and make sure it's very well inserted and then I take this side pull it down and then I take this other side or like the the piece that you use to wrap around and while I'm holding this side down I'll go ahead and pull this tightly around and I every time I wrap it around I definitely like pull on it a little bit more and I kind of just feel around to make sure that the tape is covered or the Velcro and I just keep wrapping around until I run out of hair pretty much okay and then I go ahead and take this bobby pin and just pin it where the hair ends now for me because I have a hair, my hair in a bun and it's kind of like a lot more to cover I actually grab another strand of hair usually from the bottom um, because that's where it just looks the messiest I'll grab this one instead because this one's messy and you can see that my hair is still poking out I'll fix that in a second but I'm gonna go ahead with another strand of hair and just go around it one more time um, because I do find that because my when my hair is in a bun, the bigger the bun, obviously, the more coverage you need. Um, so I definitely play around and feel around for it a little bit. Hide my bun a little bit just so it's like a little bit more secure. You can't really, you can't see it, but I know that if I were to move my head too much, you'd probably see, see it from the underside. So what I do is just kind of grab like a chunk of hair and like just kind of manipulate the ponytail a little bit so I'll take the hair from like the underside and I'll just pin it down and that usually helps me just conceal my bun so if I like move my head a lot you can't like it's not gonna show and that's usually what I do to apply the ponytail Um, and like I said, I have worn this ponytail a couple times already. Um, and what I've noticed from these hair pieces from insert name here is the more you wear it, obviously, because it's synthetic hair, the more tangled it gets. Um, and I had an issue with the straight haired pony that it got tangled very, very fast and I would detangle it. But it would just still look pretty messy, like almost like as if it needed to be re-straightened, which you actually can. You can use heat tools on them. I just never used it on my synthetic one. Um, but I did end up purchasing um, the Emergency Revival Spray, and I used it on my straight pony, and it actually worked wonders. It looks almost like new. 
Um, so you just spray almost like far away from the ponytail, kind of just mist the hair a little bit. And you go in with either a wide tooth comb or in my case I use this brush. And I just brushed the hair through and it looked almost brand new. My only thing is that I don't think I'll be able to do the same with this one because it is curly. But yeah, so in my case, I obviously can't use heat on this because it is curly hair. And I'm a little nervous to like use the spray on it as well because I feel like once I brush through, like I feel like the hair, the curls won't be the same. So I was going to do a little bit more research on it because I do obviously want this ponytail to last. It Lately it has been one of my favorite ponytails to wear. Um, like look how good it looks. It just makes my hair look super voluminous and this will definitely help me out on my deep conditioning days. A lot of days when I like to leave my deep conditioner in for like longer than I should. Um, I am now going to start using this ponytail so I don't have to wear just like a simple bun. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know down below if you've got any of the pieces from insert name here. What are your honest thoughts about it? Because I personally really do enjoy them especially when I'm in a pinch and I really need a hairstyle right away. I feel like these ponytails just save me. Um, but yeah let me know your thoughts down below. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know it was a short one. Tune in next week for, I have no idea what I'll be posting next week. Tune in next week for hopefully a fashion video and I will see you guys then. Thank you so much. Bye.